biplane overhead. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm in Buckland, just stopped off at Buckland. I did a video from here about two years ago, February 2019. So I'm not going to go into too much detail. But it's along the A25 between Dorking and Rygate. Yes, biplane going over. And I'm off down, just down the road for a pub lunch at the Pheasant Inn in Buckland, which would be lovely. Um, but I've wanted to stop off at um, Buckland here, uh, just to show you a few things. For once, there's the, uh, found it, I couldn't find this before, there's the, the windmill, uh, which was restored recently, built in sort of the 1860s, uh, 1860s I think, 1870s. Lovely old windmill that. A little look around some of these properties. Just get away from the road and it's really peaceful, but the busy A25, it's the main route between, you know, goes right down to Westrum. Um, Dorking, Rygate and all those kind of places. So yeah, very nice. Yeah, there's a nice trackway down there, there's a horse coming down, actually right down the, down the end there. That's where you can see it. Um, yeah, lovely. Public bridleway. Interesting Joker's Moon. Interesting uh, name for a for a house. We love this old door. I wonder how old that is. Yeah. We were laughing. Okay. Have a look around. here by the church. I think Buckland Court it's called. Buckland Court. Bit of a wind today. Still sort of the remains of the uh, storms we've had recently. So um, yeah I hope you can hear me all right. Oh yeah it's Buckland Court. Message. So this is St Mary's the Virgin Church, built around 1380. I've been in here before, it's on the previous video which I'll link below. Something I discovered recently though, apparently in this graveyard was is a burial of a local policeman back in the day named Harry Potter. Here's a fact, I've never seen a Harry Potter movie. I saw the first one, I saw the first one, but I've never seen any other Harry Potter movies. Oh, the sun's coming out. It's quite mild today, but yeah, sun's coming out. Lovely. Lovely place to live. Lovely place to live. It isn't open. It's a shame. But say in the previous video, there's uh, footage, so um, I'll leak that instead. Lovely church. In the previous video from here, I talk about the legend of the Buckland Shag, a local legend. So hopefully we're going to come back to that in a short while. I'm going to try and find Shag Brook, the river where that legend comes from, or stream where the legend comes from, uh, which is just down the road here.
this used to be the old schoolhouse. This lovely building here, the old schoolhouse. But we're going to go down to the uh, pheasant in a minute and um, have some lunch. Oh my god, the hair's going all over the place. I love this little outhouse. Don't know if it used to be a chapel or it's a modern, sort of modernish building. Oh, sorry. Could be an old chapel. Oh, it's a nice little trip round uh, around Buckland. And now it's going to go literally for not even a quarter of a mile down the road to the pheasant for lunch and then hopefully take you down to Shagbrook. Let's go. It's just down the road here, not very far to the pheasant. Lots of walking trails around here actually. So I've done quite a few. Now the Surrey Hills pretty well. It's very nice. Very nice indeed. So many of these villages along the A25. Still got to explore a lot of villages in Surrey, which I haven't been to yet. I've been to most of them now. These are nice. It's a nice little road up here, which I don't know if it's private or not, but yeah. Oh, modern housing. And it goes up to a little end here. It says it's a public footpath, so it probably goes out into the Surrey Downs and Surrey uh, Hills. Oh. So here we are in the Pheasant Inn along the A25. The last time I was here was about 2015. I was doing a round um, circular walk from Betchworth through Buckland, back down to Beckworth again. A bit of Rygate Hill. Uh, sorry, not Rygate Hill, uh, Rygate uh, Common with the windmill. Yeah, it's about a seven mile walk, I think. Very, very nice. So I've ordered a steak burger, very nice. And um, looking forward to it. Yeah, I do like a good pub lunch. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Where do you want it? Anywhere. Well, that was very nice. As I said before in the previous video, there's no such thing as a bad pub lunch. Very, very nice. Right, before we go, let's just have a quick look up this road here. So here we have it, Shag Brook little stream that comes from a spring uh, just below the North Downs. Loads of springs in the North Downs. And of course, as I said in the previous video, the legend of the Buckland Shag, along Shag Brook. It was a water creature, according to legend, uh, looking like a horse. I don't quite know how a horse can be a creature. Um, who'd lure travellers from the old coaching road, which is part of the A25 now. How would it lure travellers though, with hoofs? It has no dexterity, does it? Um, but it will pull travellers down here to Shagbrook onto a stone, a big large stone which, which oozed blood, which we think might have been iron. In 1757, the local rector uh, moved the stone and uh, tossed it off, I think it was over in Devon, uh, into the sea. And all the legends of the Buckland Shag stopped. So interesting. I love local legends. You don't get many in Surrey, but that's really an interesting one. Here's a little bit from the previous video about the Buckland Shag, about an article that's in the Gentleman's Magazine uh, from the 1800s. Check this out. Now, an article in the Gentleman's Magazine of 1827 says, The road from Rygate to Dorking leads through a lonely lane of considerable length into the village of Buckland. 
In the most obscure part of this lane, a little stream of beautifully clear water crosses the way. By the side of this very stream laid a large stone for I not know how many years, perhaps for centuries. So there you go, guys. Nice little trip around Buckland. Nice pub lunch. Fantastic, of course, in the Pheasant. Uh, the Pheasant pub along the A25 near Buckland and near Rygate. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Please like, subscribe, please leave a comment if you've been around these parts so you know any more about local legends uh, in the Surrey Hills. And we'll see you next time. Take care.